We are back here on Lined on Design. Yes, this is Julie Rogers. Yes, we're at Endangered Arts. Yes, this is a new wall. We were just talking about coming in and seeing things we hadn't seen before. And I could not make it to the wonderful party for yes. 25, years. 25 years. I can't we, believe it. We can, can't either. Can you share with us a little bit about how yeah, it went? Yeah, first of all, I want to thank everybody that mm -hmm. came out and supported us. It was amazing because people really came out and said, wow, we can't believe you've been here 25 mm -hmm. years. So the artists stepped up. They did special things just for this gallery. Who was it? Who were the artists that well, came? Well, Rodell was here, Barton okay. was here, okay. Philip Anthony, James Coleman, and um, Harlan were here. So big, diverse uh, group of artists. But just to kind of give you an idea, yes. this, this is the original. Wow. Uh, this is painted from one of my photos. Look at this. But the reproduction is only available in this gallery. What? Yeah. They don't do that. They don't do that. And there's only 25 of them total ever. So once they're sold out, they're gone. So they, for them to do something like that was very special. And every artist did that. Did they so, really? Yeah. Barton did it. Um, all of them did it. So oh, uh, look at this. Yeah. I keep walking in and out of the shot here. But look at this. Yeah, the turtle. Is that from you too? Yeah. Yeah, Rodale paints a lot. This is a direct... Yeah, uh, talk to me about this. It was funny when we walked in, I was, uh, Gustavo and I were both like, oh my gosh. Talk to us about this. This is absolutely magnificent. This is directly, I mean, if you saw the photo and then saw this, because he, I, I told him, I said, people love the marsh. Yes, the yes, yes. Marsh here. So he painted this, and of course it's already sold. Um, but it looks like a photo. Does. So does that. It, doesn't this look like a lot of people come in and think it's a photo? It's simple, but I mean, don't you just look like you could just walk on that beach? Oh, the yeah. depths. Yeah. So, Talk to me about taking. Now you photograph most of these. A lot of them. Yeah. This one. Because yeah, this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is this one. This one. <laughs> yeah. Most a lot of, of these. Um, Rodi also doesn't live here. Okay. Um, so you know he comes a lot. He's going to do a big show for us, one man show in April. Okay. Um, but you know, he's not here, mm -hmm. so I send him photos. He doesn't paint everything, but as soon as I sent him the tree, he said that's going to be the painting of the show, and it was. I mean, it was a huge hit. So, well, and Okay, so I'm going to do a little Julie Rogers uh, probing for a moment. You're like, I, know. I don't know about this. I I, yeah, exactly. Well, no, I'd like to talk about the compositions of your photographs, how often you go photograph, and what inspires you. Because I, I see the interpretations, and, and I'm wondering, I, I mean, again, if I really pay attention to the compositions yeah. of these. Well, they don't, Rodale doesn't necessarily paint exactly what I photographed. These he did, mm -hmm. because he liked them. But what inspires me is this island. I mean, this is, we are so blessed to live here. It's so gorgeous. I do photograph a lot. I think the perfect day is I, I can take a picture and pull a weed because I love to work in my yard. So <laughs> uh, those are my two favorite things to do. And I mean, everything I shoot is not used, but I still have fun doing it and it makes me a better photographer. But Rodell, sometimes he paints from them, sometimes he doesn't. So it kind of, we, Kinda. Well, that's what's so fun to come in and get a flavor of you and Clay, along with your incredibly, incredibly talented artists. When you are doing a composition, what are you looking for in the photograph? Well, this particular one, I love the way the, the tree was framing it. Okay. Um, and this was kind of low tide, right. so the, the mud. Got it. So uh, I kind of knew in my head what I wanted him to paint. Mm -hmm. And so when I saw that, it was the same day that I actually photographed the tree. Oh, was yeah. it real? This so one? This tree. Oh, so, it's uh, just. So it, it kind of, you know, as a photographer, um, you know, you just kind of know what you're looking for. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So. Do you think as you're photographing how it's going to translate into art into a painting? Not really, because it's up to, it, those guys are the talent. I okay. Mean, I, I, you know, I let them use their artistic license mm -hmm. to do whatever they want to do. Because mm -hmm. uh, Coleman has painted from mine. 
um, Barton has. Oh, the so, sea turtles. Yeah, so it's, uh, I let them, I don't tell them mm -hmm. what to paint. Um, I'm, I send it and say, you know, here it is if you want to paint from it. And so it's an honor for me. I feel very blessed to have mm -hmm. these guys because these are big time guys. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know? The artists here are amazing. And again, we say this every single time. If you haven't come in, you've got to come in. You do. Because everything changes. It changes. We, we've got a new artist that we're real excited about. I don't have anything to show you, but he mm -hmm. etches glass. Oh. He's doing right now a baby sea turtle uh. that's just blowing us away. So we'll have him next year. We try to add something all the time to keep people mm -hmm. in, to keep mm -hmm. people interested in coming. Let's talk about, one of the other things I'm, I'm really enjoying about what you're doing here is the way that you framed a lot of these out too. Well, I have to give Clay, he's always behind the scene. Okay. But Clay has a really good color eye. Mm -hmm. So most of these frames, Clay will work with Rodell and he'll pick the framing out. He's really good. He's, he's, he can see things. Well, it was fun when we were trying to decide all the things we're going to talk about today. And one of the things that I really want to know is about scale and how I choose the size of art I want. Are there rules of thumb? In other words, does it help me to come in and say, well, I'll give you an example. We were talking about, there's another fantastic oak tree. Uh -huh. And this is three times the size. Right. How do I judge the space and how big I need the piece? Well, if you hung that smaller piece over um, a couch or okay. something, it's going to get lost. So scale is kind of important. Very. What we tell you to do, and people do this all the time, we tell you to cut a piece of brown paper oh. with the uh, blue tape so it won't yes. mess up your walls. And you can kind of gauge from that. Mm -hmm. um, and we bring pieces out. We bring them out. We'll even hang them on your wall and you can keep them overnight just to make sure it's the right thing. Well, because, because scale, <laughs> scale is important. Exactly. It is important. Well, so. and, I, and I think oftentimes the beauty of being able to try on a piece right. is initially you may be too big, too small, but when you live with it, you may find out it right. is the perfect piece. For that area. That's one of the things I have learned. Because you're a decorator, you yeah, know that. Exactly, and so. one of the things I've learned is we oftentimes tend to go a little small, yeah. where I think that one big you want it to statement, make a statement piece. Because the artists were just at my house, mm -hmm. and they, um, they'd they never been to the new house. Okay. And, and I don't have a ton of art. I'm very picky. Mm -hmm. um, Shocking. But yeah. they love the statement pieces that I had, yes. because you noticed them. Um, you know, you go in houses and their walls look like this, and mm -hmm. that's okay. We, yeah. lo we love those people. Sure. But um, <laughs> uh -huh. but that's just not me, and every you see it yes. in your line of work. Mm -hmm. I like to have a focal piece, mm -hmm. and that you're like, wow, that's a nice piece of art. Exactly. So, um, and, and you and I both agree on this. Good art does not have to match your sofa exactly. or a darn thing. If you love it, exactly. it's amazing how things will fit in. And we tell people that all the time. They'll come in and say, well, what are the rules do I have to, I said, do you like it? Mm -hmm. If you like it, it'll work. And it does. It does. It does. That's that's another reason we will take them out and let you look at them. You, you know, know, it's really interesting because the sun is is kind of cascading in and it's casting just... I know, look at that. Right? Yeah. It's casting these beautiful shadows. And I know we've talked about it once before and we sort of touched on it. Talk to me about lighting. Can you all help me with making sure that the piece of art that I purchase is appropriately... Lit? Uh, yes. Yeah, we do give you guidance. We don't sell anything. We just—I mm -hmm. just had a phone call and said, "Do you guys sell lighting?" We don't, but all the good electricians—they know all the good things now that you can put up in the ceilings that you don't see. Right. But you can adjust them, and we did not do that in this house. Oh, interesting. We, we just didn't because natural, beautiful light. We, we have so much natural light in our mm -hmm. house. We just didn't need it. But we do. We will guide you, and um, we'll kind of tell you what we. It will give you the spacing. Clay's, again, really good at that. Yes. So pretty much anything to do with art, uh, Clay's very good at. Mm -hmm. And, he, and um, he's an artist now. And he's an, oh, he's doing, he just finished the piece for somebody, and it's, uh, a, he just had it framed at Adrian's, and uh, it's, I'm so proud of him. Mm -hmm. He's doing really well. So he's a local guy, and he paints local. So we have internationally known artists, uh -huh. and we have 
uh, clay, and then we have Rodell that we say is our local artist that doesn't live here because he paints one of my photos. Well, exactly, so. and I know we've only got, got about uh, 30 seconds left, but I have to say, I looked over at Steve Barton's things, and there are some really cool oh, yeah. new things. Yeah. So we, uh, yeah, he's, he brought some new things for the show, and all of them did. Yes. All of them stepped up to the plate, and we, I mean, we just, Clay and I really appreciated it because they, uh, they were excited. They, Doesn't I mean, that make you feel excited, too? Oh, yeah, too? because we've been here a long time, mm -hmm. and some of these guys have been with us since we opened. It's so, yeah, it's a pretty big deal. So we, uh, I'm so excited. Yeah. I really am. I want to thank all of you for joining us here on Lines on Design, especially you, Julie, at Endangered Arts. It's such a happy place to come in. It is. Thanks again. Thank you all for joining us. Bye-bye.